afternoon. I'm glad you're with me for a time of hope and prayer for our world. I'm Reverend Nan Nelson, pastor of Biomedia United Methodist Church. I want to begin today by reading from the 11th chapter of Hebrews. It's found in the New Testament of your Bible. I'm going to read one verse. Verse 1. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It's the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Have you ever thought about hope? Have you thought about hope and faith? And that when we have confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we don't see, our lives can be better for it. I just wonder, where do you see signs of hope? I see signs of hope this afternoon in the breeze blowing through the flowers and the trees and in seeing the flowers and the grass that probably needs mowing. But I see I see hope in creation, in the sunrise. It's new and different every day, created for us by God. And in the sunsets that he paints in the evening as our days come to an end. And in all of the rest of God's creation, I see hope in knowing that Jesus Christ is with each one of us, present in our lives every day. We find hope in the Bible in both the Old and the New Testaments. Words of encouragement and many words of hope. Right now, our city's hurting. All of us are hurting in light of the senseless shooting that happened early Sunday morning. All of us need words of hope and love and faith. Perhaps one of these examples that I'm about to read will bring you hope, will bring hope for your soul. And maybe you can share this hope with someone else, a hope. I'm just going to give you a summary of something about hope and where you can find it in the Bible. Hope cures our downcast souls. It does. We can read about it in Psalm 42, verses 5 and verse 11. That's in the Old Testament. Also in Psalms, in the Old Testament, we find a passage in the 71st chapter, the 14th verse, that lifts our spirits. And in Isaiah 40, verse 31, in the Old Testament, we find a passage that renews our strength. In the New Testament, we find a passage in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3 that inspires us to persevere. And there's two places where we read that hope never disappoints, disappoints us. We can find a passage in Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 49, verse 23, and in the New Testament, in the letter to the Romans in the fifth chapter, the fifth verse, which I will be reading a little bit later. In in the same psalm and the same verse where we find our spirits to be lifted, we also find motivation for us to praise God. In Hebrews, in the New Testament, in the sixth chapter, the 18th and 19th verses, give us a stabilizing anchor of hope. I'm going to share these passages, just the passages in the information about this uh, time of hope and prayer for our world. I'm going to share that in YouTube and you can find these. These will be a resource and I'll post the same resources on our Facebook page after I finish this after you see it on Thursday. The nature of hope is found in love, faith, trust, and expectations. In 1 Corinthians 13, the love chapter, verses 6 and 7 and verse 13, we find the faith, hope, and love. And it says there in verses 6 and 7, love does not delight in evil but rejoices in truth. It always protects, 
always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. That's verse 7. And in verse 13, this passage, this verse is familiar to most of us, to many of us who have read the Bible, which says, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these ends love. And friends, when we have love, and when we have faith and trust in God, we have hope in that. But we can have hope in our trust. We can have trust in God. Psalm 33, 20 says, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our hope and our shield. And expectations. You'll have to find the passage. There's one in Romans about the story of Abraham, and then back in the Old Testament, the story of Abraham and Sarah. And expectations coupled with hope reminds me of Abraham and Sarah's story. God had told Abraham that he would be the father of many, yet many nations. But Abraham, who was 100 years old, and Sarah, who had never born children and was 90, well, they had some doubts. They wondered how on earth could that happen. But Abraham and Sarah believed, and they had hope that God could do what seemed impossible, and it did happen. Sarah gave birth to Abraham's child. Abraham did become the father of many nations. You can read about it in the Old and the New Testaments in your Bibles. Hope can and will bring healing to our city to the family of the young man, to the families of the youth, and to all of us. Hear these words from the letter to the Romans in the New Testament, chapter 5, verse 5, that I mentioned before. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. My friends, we have hope. We have faith, we have love, we have trust, and we definitely have expectations. We can find hope in God. We can find hope in God's love. We can find hope in our faith and trust in God. And to believe as strongly as Abraham and Sarah did that our expectations and hope will happen because, friends, nothing is impossible with God. What's impossible with humans is not impossible with God. Nothing is impossible. We just need to have faith, believe, put our hope and trust in God, our Savior. Will you pray with me? Loving God, heal our hearts, heal our city, heal the young man's family as we move together as we move forward together in hope with you, Lord. And may the God of hope fill each one of you with all the joy and peace as you trust in him who created you, who saved you from your sins, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray this for all of us in the strong, strong name of Jesus. Amen. May you go forth into this world with hope and faith and trust in your creator and mine, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. Until we meet again, may God bless you and may your hope overflow with joy and peace. Amen.